Hi everyone, welcome back, and I hope you are having a awesome, awesome new year. The podcast is back, and I'm so excited to start off the year off with good vibes, positivity, and love. All right, so we are going to have a phenomenal season with a wonderful lineup of guests here for you to listen to. I can't wait. I'm so excited for you to see this season's guests. And also, I have something in the works for us on this platform as we continue to grow. I was very pleased with the numbers, so I decided to keep providing good content for you to hear and see. We're going to have a YouTube platform for you to see the visual, and for the audio, you can just check us out on all podcast platforms. How exciting is that? So I'm wishing you all well for this season that you're entering to, no matter whether it be starting your business, growing your business, scaling your business, receiving funding for your business, or if you just want to see your business flourish onto another level, which is also exciting. I'm encouraging you not to give up on your dreams. Don't give up. Consistency is key. So always remember that. Last season, I didn't really get to introduce myself. Give me my theme music. Outside of this podcast, I was born and raised on the east side of Detroit, Michigan, the 48205 area. Mother of three, I have three beautiful girls and an alumni of Wayne State University. My background is in health education, so I received a bachelor's of science in that. Am I currently using my degree? No, I am a serial entrepreneur. And I spend the other half of my time participating with uh, humanity causes, and I belong to two organizations. I am a member of the Order of the Eastern Star, Prince Hall Affiliated, Jurisdiction of Michigan, and I also am a member of Zeta Phi Basis Sorority Incorporated. <laughs> And I love, love, love my organizations so much. As far as business, I am the CEO of A Lot of Locks. A Lot of Locks is a natural hair salon that caters to the whole client. We have a great team of ladies who are very dedicated and knowledgeable of natural hair care and cultivating locks. I have over seven years experience in natural hair care. So with that, I have mentored and trained several hairstylists coming on board with working with me and also starting their own lock businesses. I've done mentoring, training in person, virtually. During a pandemic, I became a published author of two books. Very, I'm very, very proud of myself for that. I never thought I would be a published author. But again, with consistency and hard work, you can do anything that your heart desires. My business has been very profitable and I have been able to scale my business, provide education in the natural hair field for people who want to start up their own businesses with that. And also people who want to learn how to maintain their own hair. So I have plugged into many different realms with that. With business, I'm going to give you a few nuggets. One, it has to make sense. Whatever business goals you are trying to achieve, keep that in mind. Two, it has to be a profitable business. So meaning you have to come up with an idea of something that is going to bring in either one or multiple strings of income for you. Three, it has to be tangible for the community. So meaning on this podcast, we share tips and information for Black women in business. Question for myself, I'm going to answer so that the listeners out 
in the community can hear me. So the question I'm going to ask is what influential black woman has inspired you and why? So for me, I would say my grandmother, my mom's side was very influential throughout my life. My grandmother, Aretha Howard, was known by most in the family as the nurturer, and she was the glue that kept everything together for my family and the neighborhood. She was born in 1919 from a religious background, and she she did follow tradition. She was very traditional. She had many siblings. She married young, and she gave birth to 15 children. Uh, my grandmother inspired me because she was loving, she was outgoing, very supportive in all her roles that she did. My grandmother wore many hats. She was loved by everyone. And all her roles, no matter how tough things got, she still progressed and she was consistent and keeping it, keeping it 100. She just kept going. And she gave her best at everything that she did. Today, from being raised by her, I can admit to being incredibly proud of the woman I have become today because of the tools and things that she instilled in me and watching her. I took those things in planted that information all levels it has been a lot going on in all things in a word of Kathy <laughs> but I can say with my village and support system it has helped me grow tremendously and I'm very proud of that and in this season, I really do see the growth and I do see how my life is changing. And I'm happy to say that I am proud of me. I'm very proud of me. So next question, what inspired me to start my business? So for me, I come from a background of working multiple jobs, working for other people, working for corporate. I have had a lot of jobs starting from the age of 16. So I still have that drive to want more and that passion. So um, I say with why I started my business was to have the flexibility with creating my own schedule, not being micromanaged by uh, other higher ups in the business, being able to control my scheduling is seeing how how good that felt. I felt very, very liberated in a sense of I wasn't stressed working for myself. I felt good working for myself because I was providing a service to people doing things that I love to do, which is natural hair. I love, love, love doing natural hair. And with that, and there is long hour days. And when you're starting off working for yourself and by yourself, it can become a lot, a lot. But going to work, I can say I was not stressed. I wasn't worried. I didn't feel overwhelmed. So that was a good thing. I also wanted to give back to my community and show people that started where I come from that anything is possible, no matter how old you are no matter how much money you have, if you have a dream, if you desire it, just do it. What do you have to lose? We all start from somewhere. 
So if your dream and desire is to start your own business, just do it. <clears throat> Inspirational moments that inspired me on this journey as being a business owner, I would say my upbringing. So being born and raised from uh, the city, being an inner city kid, and I was raised during the time of the 80s, so I am an 80s baby. And during that time, even though we were kids in the world, it was the crack epidemic epidemic and we didn't have a care in the world for bills what was going on you know crime and all of that we just cared about being outside enjoying our friends uh playing at the neighbor's house and doing all of the things that kids do and making sure that you were in the house when the street lights come on. <laughs> Those were the things that were important to us as kids. But growing up, I knew that I always wanted to have my own business. I knew that I wanted to make money and I knew that I wanted to have a family. But essentially, I didn't go in order of the traditional way of doing that. But it got done, and today that's what that that's what keeps me motivated. I want to see my brand flourish to higher levels. I started my business in my house. I had a small five by five space I dedicated to providing services, natural hair services for clients. And as the clients came and my hours became more and more and more, I said, okay, well, let's take this to the next level. And I transferred that space into another space and that space grew. And then I decided to go get further professional training for these things. And I invested in myself. And after discovering that I'm passionate about this, this is something that I enjoy doing and I can see myself doing for the long haul, I got serious about how I want my business to be ran. And with that, Investing in yourself more. And when you discover that you want your brand to be a certain way, you want it to look a certain way, you want it to run a certain way, you will put time and effort and be uh, persistent at making sure that it's done. And that's what I have been doing since 2015. And I can say today, 2023, my brand has grown tremendously and I am extremely proud, proud of my brand. As far as reads for this month, I'm going to check out The Barracoon by Zora Neale Hurston. And I downloaded The Light We Carry by Michelle Obama. I watch the interview she did with Revolt TV. We don't talk about how much work mm -hmm. is required and how hard it is, even when you are madly in love with the person, even when everything works out right. Bringing two lives together, hard. It's, it is one of the hardest things yes. to do, but if you just, you know, if you understand that it is a process mm -hmm. and that a lot of times, and I people think I'm being catty by saying this, it's like there were 10 years when I couldn't stand my husband. Oof, that was a lot. But I think anyone who resonates with Miss Michelle Obama should really, really uh, either purchase or download this book. I am going to plug in my business, which is a lot of locks. 
And a lot of locks is available on all platforms. If you are local in the Metro Detroit area or interested in getting lock services, come check us out. Not only do we provide services for clients in state, we also provide services for out of state clients. And we are currently servicing clients out of state from 10 states in Canada. So I am extremely, extremely proud of the growth in that, in that my staff and myself are able to provide services for everyone that's coming through to show support. All the details and all the information in the show notes with this podcast. Also going to be releasing a new course later this summer, which is going to be an additional for entrepreneurs in retail. So stay on the lookout for that. Uh, All of the information, again, will be in the show notes. Stay tuned. And I just want to take a moment to say thank you, thank you, thank you so much to All of the listeners who have been following my podcast. When I started this podcast, I just wanted to link Black women up together and discuss how they started their business and how they went about doing that. Because there's always somebody listening who is either interested, inspired, or encouraged to do the same. So if we can all share uh, all of the information that we have to give for free, it can help somebody. Thank you for listening to the conversation today getting to know more about who is Cat English. And I hope that something that I expressed on this podcast was of value and that you would be able to utilize the information or share with someone. Please remember to share and subscribe this podcast. It is available on all platforms, and now we are going to be available on YouTube, so stay tuned.